do something that's difficult and terribly dangerous. Yes! What? Can you see that phone booth from upstairs? From Mother's bedroom, I think. Okay. Write down our phone number, go upstairs, and watch that phone booth. Don't take your eyes off it, not for a second. Now, if anybody from the van gets out and makes a call from me the minute he comes out of the phone booth, do you understand? Sure, I understand. Only the van people and only after they come out of the phone booth. No problem. No, wait a minute, I've got a better idea. Whenever you call, I won't answer. Let it ring twice and hang up. I know, like a signal. What a daddy says that only she lets it ring seven times. Oh, Susie, if you need me for anything, just bang it on the water pipe. You get it all over the house. Where is it? Uh, by the refrigerator. I'll show you. Who is it? It's Sergeant Carlino. Oh, just a second, Sergeant. I'm on the phone. Uh, that's a wonderful idea, honey. A uh, box of Kleenex and a large bottle of aspirin. Uh, yeah, well, that's all. I've got to go now. There's somebody at the door. I'm coming, Sergeant. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Sergeant. But I'm so glad you came by. Some kids were playing out back, and I think they've broken a window in the bathroom. Oh, would you mind taking a look? Well, I've got more important things to do, Mrs. Hendricks. If you would, please. It would only take you a moment. Well, there's nothing wrong with the bathroom window. Well, how about this one, then? Well, there's nothing broken anywhere. <laughs> Silly of me. I thought I heard some glass breaking somewhere. <laughs> Was there something you wanted to ask me, Sergeant? Look, Mrs. Hendricks, I understand Mr. Roke called on you this afternoon. Yes, he did. I thought you should know that the woman that was murdered here last night was his wife. Oh. You don't seem very surprised to hear that. Well, from the way her husband behaved in the phone, I guess something had happened. You've, uh, you've been looking for something, I see, Mrs. Hendricks. <laughs> yes, I was trying to find some bags for the vacuum cleaner. Oh, some bags for the vacuum cleaner? Well, maybe I could find them for you. <laughs> no, please don't bother. Oh, it's, it's, it's no bother at all. You know, my wife, she lost her only can opener the other day, and you'll never guess where I found it. In the washing machine? Well, that's right. Just thought you might have done the same thing. Well, thank you, but I'd rather you didn't look for them now. Are you sure you weren't looking for something else, Mrs. Hendricks? Are you sure you weren't looking for a doll? A doll? I don't know what you mean. A doll that your husband brought back from Canada. The doll Mrs. Rope came here to get the other night? My husband never knew Mrs. Rope. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hendricks, that's just not true. Mr. Oak recognizes your husband from a photograph that his father had. You mean that he stole from our bedroom? And old man Roe remembers seeing your husband and Mrs. Roe together several times. Now! Now, I wonder where that doll can be. In this safe, perhaps? Now, why would my husband put a doll in there? And if he did, you couldn't open it anyway, could you? Yes, as it just so happens, I could. You could? Yes. Then will you open it? For you? Yes. Now? Yes. Certainly not. You need a warrant for that, and you know it. Oh, I'll have a warrant in no time. Well, then you'll have to blast it open, because you're not going to get any help from me. It won't take 20 minutes to open that, and before your husband gets back. And in the meantime, don't leave this house. Oh, Sergeant, is Mr. Oates still at the police station? He's probably left there by now. Why? I needed to tell him something very important. Could you give me his phone number, please? His phone number? Yes. Now, don't tell me he didn't give it to you. Well, of course he did, but but I don't have it on me now. Maybe you can get it from information. He lives in Springdale. I've already tried. It's not listed. I know how I can get it. Four, four, three. What are you One, doing? One, two, three, four. They can put me through to the police, and they can tell me Mr. Rope's phone number. No, no, no. Look, look, that's only for police emergencies. I can dial my office direct. Thank you. It's just possible that he still may be there. Carlino here. 
Is Mr. Rote still there? No, the son. Mrs. Hendricks wants to talk to him. All right. Thank you. Mr. Rote? My husband's friend, Mr. Tallman, has just spoken with a lawyer, and he has advised us that if your father makes any more accusations against my husband, he will take immediate action. Do you understand? Thank you, Mr. Rote. That lawyer friend of yours isn't going to stop me, Mrs. Hendricks. I'll be right back with a search warrant. That might be for me. Hello? There's no answer. They must have hung up. Like I said, I'll be right back, Mrs. Hendricks, and uh, don't forget, don't leave this house. I'll be here. <laughs> 